The anterior tibial artery is one of the two continuations of the popliteal artery, which bifurcates in two anterior and posterior tibial arteries. The anterior tibial immediately passes anteriorly between the tibia and the fibula. It passes through a small opening at the superior border of the interosseous membrane, which is this big sheet of connective tissue just here. It then moves down the anterior aspect of the tibia and after moving past the ankle joint becomes known as the dorsalis pedis. Another important relation is the extensor hallucis longus, which arises from the interosseous membrane. Its tendon passes over the anterior tibial artery. And so this is it just here. Bringing in a few more muscles now, the anterior tibial artery supplies all the muscles of the anterior compartment here. So let's go through them now. They are tibialis anterior, which is here. Lying deep to this is the anterior tibial artery. We then have extensor digitorum longus here. Extensor hallucis longus we mentioned, and then the fourth and last muscle of the anterior compartment is fibularis tertius. So if we curve around the back now, we can see the anterior tibial artery at its origin, crossing between the tibialis posterior and popliteus muscles. Now let's move on to the branches of the anterior tibial. We start with the posterior tibial recurrent artery, which isn't present in all of us. That's probably why it's missing from this model, but it departs before the anterior tibial passes between the two bones, the fibula and the tibia. It then ascends to supply popliteus and then anastomoses with the inferior genicular arteries, which you can see in my video on the popliteal artery for more information on them. We next have the anterior tibial recurrent, which ascends in the tibialis anterior muscle. Remember that was just sitting here in front of the tibia there. The anterior tibial recurrent also contributes to the genicular anastomosis, supplying the knee joint. We next have smaller muscular branches supplying our muscles of the anterior compartment, which we talked about before. And moving on down now, we then have the anterior medial malleolar artery, which is here. And we have the anterior lateral malleolar artery as well. I'll draw that in now. So that's the anterior lateral malleolar here. And this is the anterior medial malleolar. They both supply the ankle joint. The anterior lateral malleolar passes beneath the tendon of the extensor digitorum longus muscle. and anastomoses with branches of the fibular artery just here. So this is the posterior tibial artery running parallel to that. And if we come back around, we see the anterior medial malleolar artery passing beneath tendons of the extensor hallucis longus. The anterior tibial sits on the lateral side of that now, and it also passes beneath the tendon of tibialis anterior anastomosing with the posterior medial malleolar. And this branch, which you can see here, should also link directly to the posterior tibial artery. And that's it for the anterior tibial. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.